Okay guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to install the BiblioShiny or Bibliometrics package in our software for Bibliometric Analysis. So in the previous two videos I have shown you how to install Boss Viewer and how to install SiteSpace. So for BiblioShiny first we will need the R software. So we'll go R download. So here I'm making a search in Google. So R download and here if I just click on the first link here the R project so here we can see that okay where is the latest version so from here actually download R you can look for your countries download for Windows install R for the first time Actually, maybe there were easier ways to get to here, but I managed to come here, as you can see. So here now, I'm just going to install this one, download R. And here we're gonna say, keep. Okay, so it took a couple of minutes for me to get the download file for the R. So I'm just going to open it now. And I see this window, I'm going to say yes. Yes, English. Next. You can select the location. I'm just going with the default settings. Yeah, I'm just going with the default settings. Start menu, yeah, that's okay. I don't really want a de desktop shortcut, but if you want, so you can go for it as well, okay. So it took a couple of minutes to install this R, so I'm going to click here finish. But so if you already know that normally to run the R, the best way is to also have the R Studio. So this is the main program that already we installed, but to have a nice user interface where we can work, uh, then we should have the R Studio. So R Studio download. And here we get a link and here I am and here you see they offer many different packages but I'm going to download this one you can actually also work using the RStudio server but I prefer to have a downloaded version in my computer so I'm just going to download this one and download for Windows and here you can see they also operate for the Windows, Mac, Ubuntu, and other operating systems, right? I'm going to say keep. So again, it took about a couple of minutes to get the file downloaded here. So I'm just going to run it now. And yes. Okay, so my installation is now completed, so I'm going to click finish. Awesome. Now I'm going to run R Studio. R Studio, and when I run it, it looks something like this. Yes, I will just say yes, that is fine. So normally in our studio, we see this kind of window. So we have the console. This is the this is where we have the main R program working on. So this was the R version. Okay, so that is the main uh, programming part of this uh, R software. But R studio allows us to actually have these windows where we can manage our data and here we can manage our packages and plots in a nice environment. So one more thing I will start is, I will start with the script. So the script is the place where we normally write our codes, okay? So here we will write our commands, our codes. Here we will see the outputs. Here we will see our history and our data. And here we will see the files, the working, working directory. So this is where my working directory is set now. Here we will see the plots. Here we will see the different packages. And here help and here, the viewer option. So what 
we are going to do so this Biblioshiny or Bibliometrics is a package and in R there are many default analysis commands okay so I have some videos on that actually uh, it's like for instance if you write 2 plus 2 okay so it will give you 4 here so you can do some basic computation uh, with the basic R for R installation you can do some loop and you can do some uh, basic commands okay some kind of programming so I have some videos on that maybe you will find a link above in the corner or below in the video description okay so now our focus is on installing the bibliometric package you know so to do that we are going here install and then here we are going to write bibliometrics so here I see that the package appears here so I'm going to click and then I'm going to say install and there I made sure you have to make sure that we ticked installed dependencies you know because this package is also dependent on many other software so many other packages so we would like to have all of them uh, installed by default right then it makes our life easy otherwise we have to install the other packages uh, by one by one okay so you see it takes some time it's installing a lots of packages you see all the packages that are kind of part of this bibliometrics package. You see all of them are successfully unpacked and checked and downloaded. So, and when it is read here, that means that uh, R is working and we should not really do anything else. Great. So now you see the stop sign is gone, the red symbol is gone, and here you see we downloaded the packages, all of them that were required. Awesome. And here the last one was the bibliometric successfully unpacked an MD, MDS, uh, MD5 uh, sum check. So now actually we see we can under, we understand from this that the, all the packages that were recovered are successfully installed. So now in R, when you have a package installed, every time you are going to use it. So every time we close R and open R, okay, you have to just say that we are going to use it in today's analysis. Okay, so one way of doing it is just to use the library command or the require command. So let's say you can write require, okay, and in, in brackets, I think I should change my keyboard setting. So require in brackets, you are going to say, okay, I'm going to use bibliometrics, okay? So that's it. And here we are loading the required package. So if it has been installed successfully, then actually it is going to load it properly, okay? If not, you will see some warning, okay? So one way of you can use the command require or library both does the same thing. Okay. So now actually we see that our success our installation is successful because now it says okay cite this paper. So this was the main paper which actually proposed this bibliometrics tool. Okay, and you can find some more detail about them uh, on bibliometrics.org. Actually, some of our videos from Research Hub are also highlighted there as tutorial material. And here, if you want to, so this package bibliometrics, it has two options of, for working. One is the coding window. So you have to, you can like code all these things. But in this course, we are going to focus on the user interface uh, for doing the analysis, which makes our life much easier. So for which we can actually just use this common biblioshiny. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. Biblioshiny, okay, and then I'm going to click run. So the command is very simple Biblioshiny and just first bracket close and open, open and close, okay. So run this, and then it will take you to a window like this on your browser, okay. Awesome. So because we, we did it the first time, you know, that's why it took some time to load this and there were some background things going on okay but when you have it successfully done then this is how it should look like and this is what will tell you that okay you have done it successfully and here again you see the link to the 
main paper, the citation uh, references for the main paper which proposed, which developed this uh, bibliometric analysis tool. Here you see some more information about the workflow process and different things. And here is data where you can actually load your data. Uh, here you can see that you can load a bibliometrics file or you can load import raw file from Web Science, Scoop, S Dimensions, PubMed, or Cochrane Library. Okay. So if you have done so far, then you know that you have installed a uh, software successfully. Uh, it is going to work. So thank you for watching.